introduction. Hello, my name is Nita and today I'm going to show you how to make pesto slices. To make pesto slices you need puff pastry, flour to stop the pastry in sticking and a selection of toppings we have today. Pesto and tomato puree. I'm going to make some Greek salad style ones using Greek cheese, olives and tomatoes. I'm also going to make some Italian style using mozzarella cheese, tomatoes, a bit of basil and maybe some pepperoni. I shall also be making some with ham, peppers, onion and cheese. But before we get started, the first thing we have to do is wash our hands. Right, first of all I'm going to prepare my toppings. So I'll be using a sharp knife and a chopping board. It is always important to remember that when you carry a knife, you carry it with the point facing downwards. When you are chopping your ingredients, do not handle the blade, only handle Keep your fingers from your other hand out of the way of the blade. If you find a knife like this difficult to handle, you can always try using an L-shaped knife which is easier to grip. And you can use it to chop your ingredients. Remembering to keep your fingers out of the way of the blade. Now I'm going to roll the pastry. Remembering to sprinkle the board with flour so that it does not stick. I'm using Asda's puff pastry. If you do have intolerances, there are special products on the market such as Genius Puff Pastry, which is gluten free and milk free, although it does contain egg. You can also buy dairy free or vegan cheeses if you um, choose to. Now I'm going to use a rolling pin to roll the pastry so that it's roughly the same size as the chopping board. Remember to apply pressure evenly on the rolling pin. Now I'm going to lightly grease a baking tray because we don't want the pastry slices to stick. Now you could either cut your pastry into squares and place them on the tray or alternatively you could use a pastry cutter to cut the pastry into shapes it's up to you When you've prepared all your potato pastry slices and you've got them on the tray, it's now time to add some pesto. You can either use green or red pesto and then just very gently spread a little pesto 
onto each of the pastry slices. Pesto can be something of an acquired taste, so if you do not like it, you could always use tomato puree instead. Okay, once you have done that, it's then time to start adding your toppings. So, I'm going to start with doing this one. I'm going to add a little onion. Some tomato. Some feta cheese. and a few of olives. Now finish that with a little sprinkle of oregano. With this one I'm going to add some tomato. Some pepperoni. And some mozzarella cheese. And just finish it off with a little sprinkle of basil. And this one I'm going to put some grated cheese, some peppers. And a little ham. But basically you can add whatever toppings you choose. When you've finished, put the um, pesto slices into a preheated oven at 180 degrees or it's about gas mark five. Remembering to use your oven gloves. And cook them for about 15 to 20 minutes. You can always set a timer to remind you. Okay. When the pastry slices are ready, the cheese will be melted and it will look golden brown around the outside. place your pastry slices onto a cooling tray just to cool for a few minutes. These make a delicious snack for parties, buffets or just for lunch. Not long. You know what you like then.